Hey there guys, welcome to this episode of Pittsburgh Water Feeders. In this episode, me and my buddy Zach are going to our local lake to catch some bluegill and coming back to the rivers and catching channel cats and hopefully some flatheads. So let's get them. This is your first time tuning into this channel. Glad to have you. If you want to learn to catch bugs and catfish, consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you will be notified every time we upload a new video every week. All right, guys, now that we left the lake, we're down at the river now. We got all of our bait we needed. We got all of our rods out. Zach thought he got a hit, but he got into himself into a snag. But we got cut bait out there, live bluegill. So hopefully one of these rods will go. He's got three out. I got three out. I got one over behind, underneath the barge. One right here. And I got another one over there, and that's the cut bait, and that's over in the little uh, shelf there. There's a drop off, say about 20, 30 feet out. There's a drop off, and I cast it right over top of that drop off. So we're right there. So we're gonna see if one of these rods give us a nice size flathead. Hey, yeah, buddy. <laughs> cut. Yep. Not yet. Mine's not moving, so you're good. He's close. Ooh, that's a flathead, dude. That's a flathead. Or a beefy channel. No, that's flat. Just the way he's digging down. He's not... He's... I forgot to grab the net. It's a channel. Is it? Yep. Beefy channel? Beefy channel. Oh, yeah, that's beefy, dude. Then, yeah, channel cats will bite on on cut, mostly. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's a good size one, dude. Okay, let me get the camera in, boy. There we go. Oh, come on, get in there. There we go. Nice channel, dude. There you go. Got him? Yep. All right. <laughs> go ahead and sit him down and get a release. Yeah, that was on head. Hot bait. Yep. Well, on head. Barely hooked. Ooh. Watch, it's going to pop right up. No, it's actually in there. No, it, it came right out. out. It popped out real easy, actually. That's a nice channel, dude. Nice channel. There you go, guys. Nice little channel. Whoop! He's he's already he's still fighting. He ain't giving up. Nice little channel. All right, time to let you go. Yeah, he, he wants to go. Let him go. He wants to go. He's ready. There he goes. Wrong way, buddy. He'll turn around. All right, we got another one. He came off. No, he didn't. He just popped over a rock, probably. Is he still in there? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. It's coming in pretty easy, though. Sure? Oh, yeah, he's got to be still in there. It's coming in pretty easy, though. He had to pop off. No, he's still there. Another channel. Another channel, dude. You find a pocket of channels. We might all bomb over there with all of our baits over there. Bring him over. Alright, buddy. Oh, that one feels a little heavier, dude. <laughs> that one feels a little heavier than the last one. <laughs> that does, that. I'm telling you, that feels a lot heavier than the last one, dude. Look at that. Beautiful. There you go, guys. Jeez. Just gonna give up. All right, hold him up. Try to hold him as best as you can. I'm trying. <laughs> He's real slimy. All right, Zach, you got a nice little channel cat for your second fish of the night, huh? Mm-hmm. There he goes, back over in the same spot. All right, guys, we got one on. No way. No way. That that's betting way over too far for him. No, he's guy was still on there, dude. Yeah, he's still on there. Jeez, he sounds like a good size one, dude. It's a little flathead. All right, there you go, guys. I don't know how well you're going to see this. This is our first flathead of the, 
This is the season, small one, on live bluegill that we just caught earlier today at the beginning of the video at the at the lake. It's a good size one, dude. It's a little chunky. Here's a long ice guy. A nice little guy. Yeah. First flathead of the season, baby. Okay. That's always nice. Ooh, nice. Hooked him right into that. The meat of the mouth. Ow, you That's how you get circle hooks out. Pull and twist. Look at that. Nice little flathead, guys. Let me put the light back on. Damn thing into me. <laughs> All right, buddy. Let's go ahead and put you back in the water. Release him back in that water. Back in the water. Woo! Nice flatty, dude. Nice. Nice. All right. These pool drag got some parts hit too. Oh yeah. Oh, oh Jesus. Does it feel like it's big one, big one? Oh yeah, he's pushing. This one's pushing, dude. Look at that rod. Look at that rod, dude. Oh yeah. He's pushing. I don't think he's as big as your other. No, one. he's pretty, pretty close. He's pushing 20. Oh. He's digging. Just dead weight right now. Just dead weight trying to bring his ass up. There he goes again, he's running. Man. Oh my god, dude. Oh. His head shakes. Head shakes. He's trying to turn up. Trying to turn the hook, but I'm trying to keep the pressure on him. Trying to keep that pressure on him. Yeah. Dude, look at that rod. That's a pig, dude. That's a pig. I see your line. <clears throat> That's a freaking pig. Oh, I see him. Look. Oh, my God. This is going to be my PB, dude. He has to be my new PB. <sighs> Unless you want me to go down there because I could get in the water. This might break my PB. I don't know. He's big. Here. Keep that pressure. Keep that pressure. He's right there. You gotta go around that rod. Okay? Go. Oh, that's a freaking giant, dude. He's in there. Holy. Give me slack. He's he's pushing, but I don't know if he's pushing my PB, but he's pretty freaking close. Just open just click the bell. I mean click the button. Okay, good. Cause, oh my God. This is a two-hander. I'll tell you what I. This is a two-hander. Oh my God, dude. Than your other one? Nah, he's pushing 20, so. He's definitely pushing 20. All right, come on down. There you go, guys. Barge just went by. Whoo. This is a 20 pounder easy. I apologize guys for the, like the mess up of the fight. Uh, we don't have my light as you can tell. The light is pretty much dead. So we're using my cell phone. So if you missed most of the fight, I apologize. But I'm telling you, a bar just went by. We hooked into this monster. Live bluegill. There we go. Oh yeah. Nah, I wouldn't say 20. I'd say mid to mid 19. 19. I'd say about 15, maybe 17. He's not giving up. Nice fish. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and get the release on this fish. Want to do an underwater release on this one? No, nah, you won't be able to see him. Too dark. It's way too dark, you won't be able to see him. Ah, he's turning my hand up. My hands are all tore up. Tore up my fingers. Alright. Come on, buddy. You ready? Yeah, he's ready. Ready to go back? Yeah. <laughs> nice. You see that release? That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh. It was just about to go by. We hooked up. First fish on a blue on the blue cat rod, baby. 
Oh, he's crossing this one. Got to get that one in. He crossed that one. Oh, dude, he's a pig. No, he's over top of it. Oh, he's way out there, dude. Holy mackerel. He's way out there. This is pig. Drag. There he goes again. Look at him running, dude. Look at him running. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God, dude. This is a... He's, he's heavy, dude. Here. Get under this one. Just, just, go, 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 go. Get out of my way. Oh, this is a pig, dude. Oh, this is a pig. Oh, he spilled my pot. That's all right. Don't worry about it. I don't care. I'll get another one. I'm worried about more about the fish. More, more about the fish than anything, really. Oh, dude. He is a pig. Look at that, dude. Oh, my God. This is a two-hander, dude. Two-hander. All right, he's pulling drag. There he goes, guys. Look at that run. Dude, he's running. All right, he doesn't want to give up. He doesn't want to come off that bottom. Oh, Jesus. I got that drag set perfect, too. So I can still bring him in, but... He's back over this one. Oh, man. I'm just going to reel it in. Yeah, he's... Just reel it in, dude. Just reel it in. All right. Oh my God, dude. This is a pig. I'm gonna, uh, what am I going to do with this? I'm just sit down. I want the bluegill back. Oh, come on. Put him in the tank. Put him in the tank. I'm in the bucket. I haven't seen him yet, but he's coming up though. He's starting to come up. I just seen a squirrel. Oh my god, dude, that's look how far that rod's been, dude. That's a medium heavy. That's oh he's he's underneath that barge. No he ain't. I just seen He's getting tail. pretty close. I just seen his tail. It's a big tail. It's a big dude, I'm telling you. That's on that shed. Oh. Did you see him? Yeah. Dude, that's gonna break my PB. We both need pictures with this thing. I hear the sinker bouncing off that board. Oh my god, dude, he's running towards that board. I gotta keep he's him away. I know, I gotta keep him away from that barge over there. He's gonna he can snap me off. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you got your scale at home? Yes, I do. You might have to run back and get it. And we're gonna put him in the net and uh, I'll, I'll hold him in the, the. Oh, we got one of us. I have to go down there and net him, and someone's yeah. gonna. I, you're gonna have to hold on to this, dude. He's starting to give up. Trying to light down here so we can keep an eye on him. Here I'm gonna set we're in the light down real quick, and I'm gonna grab this. Hurry up, cause dude, I don't want to lose this thing. He's in there. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh. This is definitely breaking my PB, dude. Holy mackerel. Dude, this is a pig. Oh, and it wasn't <laughs> even hooked that good. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Pick him up. All right, guys, check that out, dude. That is a pig. We're going to put him in the net. Then I'm going to run back to the house, get the scale. Let's grab some pitch. Ow! <laughs> Did he just bite down? <laughs> Did he bite down? Really hard. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Dude, that, dude, holy cow. You're holding him at your chest, and guess where his tail's going down to? Where? Almost down to your ankles. God. It's almost at your ankles, dude. That is a pig. Take two like this. Oh, my God, dude. That's a pig. <laughs> all right, guys. I had to go all the way back to the house. Get the, uh scale because i'm telling you guys this thing is breaking my pb all right we're back down at the spot here we're about to just to get to where zach's at holding this monster flathead hopefully we got some good footage of the fight it was all right what we got to do is take him out of the net first my pb is 27.1 guys 27.1 24-1. Didn't bring my PB, but he's 
He's a beefy fish. Didn't break the PB, guys. 24. He was small. He's actually smaller than my PB. My PB is 27. Look at that, guys. Look at that fish. Look at that. What a monster. Thank you, buddy. Thanks for the fight. All right, let's get an underwater release on this. Didn't break my PB. We overestimated the fish. <laughs> That's what happens when you get excited. When you catch a big fish like that, you get overexcited and you overestimate the size of the fish. Because when you're up on the 20 foot wall and you're looking down on that thing, it does look a lot bigger than it when in the water. Once you get them out of the water, and then it looks a little bit smaller, you know. Obviously, it didn't break my PB. It's uh, 20, what, 24.1? What was it? Yeah, 24-1. Yeah, 24-1, and my actual PB is 27 I think, wrong, I think that scale is a little off, but you guys give me a, a comment off. down below and let me know what you guys think with that, what size that fish weighs. Because I have to say that fish was a lot bigger than that. I would say he was pushing at least 30. At least 30. Mm -hmm. 30, 31, at least. Because he was a beefy, beefy flathead. And that was my first flathead and first fish on the blue cat rod Chris that is awesome man that rod handled that fish like a champ it had no problems with that fish whatsoever it handled it like a champ so let's go ahead and get this rod back out there go check the other rods make sure they didn't go and start pulling drag and we're gonna go check on those and we're gonna see if we can get another uh, another flathead for you guys all right guys we're gonna go ahead and cut it off we had an awesome night yeah we hit the target species tonight like we were supposed to it, yeah. like I said at the beginning of the video when we went to the lake and caught all those bluegills we were hitting um, the target species which is channel cats and flatheads uh -huh. and like I said channel cats prefer more cut bait toward than uh, live bait uh -huh. but they do hit live bait occasionally but occasionally yeah but they mostly hit cut bait and obviously, as you can see, we caught three nice size channel cats on cut bait. Yep. And two nice size flatheads. I finally got my flathead of the year off my back. I was so excited. I was like, I thought it was my PB, but sure enough, it wasn't. But yeah. it's still early in the season. The flatheads are just starting to move. The water temperatures are just starting to come up. Like they're in the high 60s, almost 70 degrees. And yep. uh, they're so they're just starting to wake up and come out of their hibernation and all that so they're just starting to wake up um yeah and you caught your you caught that nice little flathead you were the first one to catch the flathead of the night yep and uh, i broke the ice on the flatheads yep be sure to subscribe if you if you haven't already and click on that bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video every week uh that's going to be every tuesday at 8 30 a.m so look for a new episode on this channel at eight o'clock Actually, 8.30 in the morning every Tuesday. So, we're going to go ahead and cut it off here. And we'll see you guys next time once we get on the water. As always, guys, happy fishing and tight lines. See you next week.